I like I like a nice thin panel, please. It's stuck thinking oh, about no, it. Oh no, you broke it. I did, it's stuck now. I am so glad they finally stole this. Oh, they even have it broken down into sections Check too. Because we're in the red. <laughs> we're, we're, this is our current financial situation. <laughs> <laughs> this is our Hey guys, how are you all doing? Really? That's just great. You know, I'm doing pretty great today too because I'm here with Brainiac Brent and Maniac Mike. Hello. Oh, is that all you know how to say? No, I guess. Okay, that wasn't as good as last time, but it doesn't matter. We have a little bit of a task at hand. Uh, we have been getting a lot of requests to show off Zorn OS 15. Heck, even the Zorn team reached out to us. And me, being a bit of a procrastinator right now, I did not get back to them in like a timely manner. I'm super sorry. So we don't actually have the free copy of Ultimate they were going to give us, but we can take care of that later for maybe version 16. For now, we just have version 15 core, and we're gonna image it to a flash drive and install it on Brent's new Mac Pro, which you can see in a previous episode, we got that up and running. So thank you, Brent, Brainiac Brent, for the flash drive. Thank you for software to thank run this computer. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're essentially uh, putting two systems on the Mac Pro, a version of Mac OS X and a version of Linux. And now, can I initialize this? Yeah. Okay. I switched to purple, as you may see. Maniac Mike convinced me to go to orange, but then I saw he had purple on his MacBook Pro, and now I'm using purple. I didn't convince him. He was just like, oh, that looks cool, and then copies me. Well, that's close enough. I'm, I'm a follower, not a leader, I think. Okay, so it doesn't really matter what I format this as, because it's just going to do its thing anyway. So we'll just do that. Done. Purple. Okay, so it has the flash drive. We have the image. I... Did it, yay, flash. So, password. Okay, so we're starting, and then we'll move over to the Mac Pro once it is finished. We're already at 10% because, uh, I guess, it's a decently fast flash drive. Oh, it's USB 3, isn't it? It is. I my The one I always use, that little like hacker-looking one, is USB 2, so I'm not used to these luxurious speeds. Oh, it is lovely having a USB 3 disk, especially oh. when this is all you use them for, is re-imaging different crap onto them to install different things onto different things. Pretty much, yeah, I just have two. All right, well, that'll be done quick. And we're already done, so... I probably should have just hit eject, but uh, whatever. Okay, so Brent, I'm gonna let you drive. We're gonna switch All back right. to the Mac Pro. All, All right. right, go ahead. Oh yeah, oh, the light flickered when you turned it on. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready. We're gonna get a bong noise? Hope so. Hey! <laughs> EFI boot is there, which uh, I guess it technically is? It is. Yeah. It should be, it, it being a modern Linux system. Yeah, I know. One way I, to find out. No, it, sh it will work. I know that you can put different boot picker screens on here and stuff. But yeah, I've never used Zorn OS 15 before. It was just a heavily requested thing, so huzzah. Your screen is kind of filthy. It is. Not this, this is This is something that I had lying around. Oh, hello. Install safe graphics, modern NVIDIA. Definitely not that one. <laughs> You have an uh, ATI in there, right? Yes. So try or install because we like to play around in the uh, the live the live mode. CD. Yeah. Yes. Or the live whatever. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! That's pretty. That is one sexy boot up screen. <laughs> yes. If the, if there's one thing these people know how to do is design. Yeah. I mean. Ooh. Animated. Wow. Just it just comes right to you. So, do we want to try it, or do we just want to install it? Well, installation sensation tradition is you do the installation, then you do the test drive. So let's do install. Oh man, even just clicking buttons, I love it. <laughs> Rounded windows at the top. Those are corners, oh, you, you, ah, f <laughs> <laughs> Now here is where people can get a little bit, don't click continue, or we do, maybe? Because I know there might be Mac. English. Yeah, yes. just choose English there Macintosh. It is. We don't have one of those, do we? Wi-Fi connection? We there should. should be an airport card in here, but we don't have it. Oh, there's not an airport yeah. card in here. Oh, there isn't. There isn't? There is not. Oh. Okay, but skip all that for now. Oh yeah, we don't have internet connections. We're probably not gonna be able to update anything right now. 
I don't have any Ethernet cable with me. I escaped the layer and I forgot to grab the Ethernet. I uh, think I have one retractable Ethernet cable. The question is, do we even have Ethernet anymore? Last time Ooh. I checked, not in this room. Nope. Mm, so it doesn't matter anyway then, does yeah. it? Wi-Fi only sucks. Race and install. Yeah, we can erase and install at this I point. I won't worry about that. I and mean, and it's we not have like it's nothing on the disk anyways. ESP. <laughs> SPO from Sanic. Go ahead. I don't know what that means. He's the chameleon. You are uncultured swine. I am. No, go. don't go to New York. You I'm just kidding. You can. It's, it's going to pick it for me anyway. I don't know. I just escaped the layer. I don't know where I actually wound up. Where the frick are we? We're in somewhere in Pennsylvania. Uh, I thought we were in Mexico. Okay, go ahead. Well, that's a different time zone, so fortunately just, not. Just click the thing. <laughs> I bless the rains down in it. See, if, you were, if we would have gone to Asia, I would have started singing an Asia song. And Your you, name. This is the most difficult part. I mean, I always now, do Crazy Ken. Now, because it's not Crazy Ken, oh, what do you think it is? Mutiny. I'm the dude. Oh, <laughs> I will be... Computer's name, the Mac Pro. The Mac Pro. <laughs> oh, gee. I will be Brent, and my computer's name shall be Cheese. Well, it's a cheese grater. Yes. Passwords do not match. Yeah, they probably don't. If at first you don't succeed, you fail. Why is there a warning sign? I, I'm scared. Well, it, I have no idea. And oh, caps lock. <laughs> I tapped the <laughs> caps lock key. Oh, okay, so it looks like it was starting the copying in the background while it was bringing us through the wizard, which is pretty efficient. Very typical of this installer. In fact... But how does this thing not have a Wi-Fi card? It just doesn't. Doesn't? It, it doesn't. doesn't. I thought it did. I see the the place where you can plug one in, and there's no airport card. Really? Yes. I'm so I'm not super familiar with these machines. I've never owned one. Someone did just donate a Power Mac G5, and that will be arriving in the layer soon. It's entirely possible it was yanked out with the hard drive and RAM, but that Maybe. seems like a stupid thing to tear out. Okay. Well, I guess for now we just can't get this thing online. Which kind of sucks, but hey, we can still explore a lot of the other parts of the system. Shit, I didn't even think about that. You don't think about the internet until it's not there. <laughs> this is how much we take it for granted these don't days. Don't know what you got till it's gone. Almost finished copying files. And then it has to set up our user stuff, I think. Mm. Installing system. So what it'll do is it'll copy files over to the disk and then ask you, hey, how do you want to set this up as it gets this system ready to be in an installable state? But it won't actually do this part until you get this far. Some index files failed to download. They may be ignored or old one used instead. Yeah, because we don't have an internet connection to fetch updated package sources. So just pull it off the disk. All right, so let's take that out and reboot. And right. we'll explore with some of the new features. I know there's some like under the hood things, but they did change some of the graphical stuff. Yes. So that might be more of the fun stuff to look at. Yeah, you should just be able to press enter. Or not. I guess it wants us to actually reboot. Oh yeah, it just says remove the installation media yeah, then and then reboot. reboot. It but... doesn't say then press enter. So I'm oh, just gonna okay. tap the power button or nope. I tried control alt delete, that does nothing. It's command option delete because we That's, selected Mac uh, keyboard. No, no, oh, wow. We just got a bunch of symbols. That definitely That's doesn't. <laughs> Normal, normally, it just does it. Um, eh, go, go ahead. This is the last thing that you're supposed to do for an install, but we Whatever. have no other option, do we? Yeah, that was weird. I just love my jet engines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad it doesn't need to run them at full speed all the time. Yeah, it, it knows how to keep itself quiet. Can barely hear it. You can't even hear it now. Yeah. Well, that's good. The street noise is louder. <laughs> Heard a speaker click. Zorin! That's still so cool. It's so fluid. It is, like for a boot splash screen, that is one of the f most fluid animations I've ever seen. Take notes, Microsoft. Woo! And it just goes it's like a mat. It just goes from the boot splash directly to the login screen. And it does the desktop zoom in just like uh, what Mac OS. I don't think Mac OS does it anymore. It but does. It, it, it did, yeah. Well, 
All, All right. right. Holy. So, of the three applications down here, two of them are off limits because we have no internet. Yeah, that's the only thing that sucks about this installation sensation is we do not have any way to get this thing on the internet right now because apparently there is no Wi-Fi card in here. Correct. I maybe should have checked that earlier. Games. What is Quadrupusol? <laughs> is that Tetris? Is that Tetris? What is qu- No, it's not. I have not heard of that. It oh, is. it is. What? Okay, so. What is is it a copyright issue? Like, they can't call it Tetris? So they call it, uh, yeah, because it's owned by the Tetris. Tetris. They even own all the colors to the pieces. Quadra Pesel. What oh, is that even? What are the controls to this? Because... Confusing. <laughs> Wait, so there's no hard drop? Up is rotate? No, probably up is rotate. Bar. It's probably space bar. Oh, I wonder if it is... This is terrible, but it is space bar. I have a terrible stack. Holy crap. Oh, jeez. Because I wonder. I'm also at an angle here, so I really, I have. Yeah, disadvantage. Even if you want it to hard drop, you can't, because you have no idea where it's going to go. You don't even have like a grid. Well, you just gotta line it up with your eyeballs. Which I can't do, because the display's. Oh yeah, the very, display's at an angle. The display's sorry. at an angle. <laughs> Oops. Um, I think yes. I wonder if it's actually possible to do a T-spin. Sounds like a Tony Hawk Pro Skater move. Oh, well, that's a nice animation. Mm-hmm. I keep Failed. getting the key to hard drop and rotate mixed no, up because they're I've, I've not. Done that. I've done that so many times. I'll do this. On. <laughs> no. <laughs> One single mistake and you you really pay. Would you look at that? It's almost like it's metaphorical. For capitalism? No. no. How do you jump to capitalism? <laughs> you pay. <laughs> not that kind of pay, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I am so not used to not having a ghost piece. I know, it's terrible. That's the challenge of Quadra Pestle. It is. It's maybe, very challenging and I hate it. Maybe if I was more playing more classic Tetris than maybe, but no, I'm more used to modern Tetris. Actually, no, this is classic Tetris. Maniac Mike, how about you explain the whole piece? So in newer versions of Tetris. Uh-oh. We're okay <clears throat> now. In newer versions of Tetris, there, you can press a button. Oh, oh it didn't even let me move that. I will hop out of there. Go Got ahead. Got a 440. Uh, Manic Mike, what were you saying? So in newer versions of Tetris, you can hold a piece to save for later by hitting. Uh, if you're on a controller, okay. you can hit L1 or R or... Gotcha. So yeah, I heard uh, there were some LibreOffice updates that are included in... If Zorn was 15, I'm not sure how new they are, but... Whoa. That looks ribbony on top. Yes, did... so this is definitely something that I've never seen in LibreOffice before yeah, I, at all, which it, is a ribbon. And I, I am so glad they finally stole this. Oh, they even have it broken down into sections, check too. Out the, check out the hamburger in the upper right there. Oh, what the... There's this too. Oh, it's okay. So it's that's basically your file menu. Yeah, I guess. They put it on the wrong side. There's a file but... tab, though. Here's Yay, LibreOffice is actually useful. Well, I mean, I haven't used it in a long time, so I can't really judge it, but the ribbon I don't remember being the last time. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we got arrows. We, we got, like, clip art sort of things. We got default Finance. bullets, computers. Okay, I want you to put that database in there and put, yeah. it, on, put it on a cube. Put it on a cube. <laughs> yeah, we need a database <laughs> on a finance. On um, a handshake. We agree on this database. We're very good at making documents. We're gonna add in agreeing databases. Oh no, but, but upon this new agreement, our stocks are going down. This is oh our no, well let's reflect with... that in our informational here. <laughs> and this is a great presentation for the board. Our handshake <laughs> database is killing our profits. <laughs> so we need to, we, we need, need to, to stop the doing this. And get some more money, because we're in the red. We're, we're, this is our current financial situation. <laughs> <laughs> this, is our, this is how you <laughs> test software. This is how you test software, you make sure it works. It's working great. <laughs> <laughs> sounds. Did it oh no, there's sounds here? Turn up the volume and uh, have a listen. Yeah, let's, well I this hope that's no good. There, okay. How do I? Preview sound on a word. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> what was that? That was a whoosh of some what kind. The frick? I'm sorry. I was not expecting that. To oh, blast just out of there. popped up out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's good. Do that. Yes. What does the check mark do? 
I don't know. <laughs> All right, that's good. There's like a snake in your computer. Yeah. There's a snake in my boot. But... High quality. <laughs> uh, so let's just go through the ribbon some more yeah, we and see what symbol. else is Okay, we do have basic text shapes and transportation, just in case you need that. Let's so hop yeah. on through the ribbon. So insert, we can insert our page break, title section, Good. charts for images, for multimedia, uh, text boxes, basic shapes, advanced shapes, and some other things. Symbols. More character. Oh yes, oh, very office. Characters. George R. R. Martin's gonna kill all of them. <laughs> all of your yeah. layout stuff for your pages. If you need to create oh, a works cited page, here you go. You even have a the database to enter. Oh my! They get they give you some books to get started. I guess. I have no idea. What Gunther. This what did Gump Gunther do? Friend. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Publisher. You could probably get more if you're online. I have no idea. Or you could type them in yourself, I which guess is how you could. I'm used to this being empty and you type in the sources that you're using in the document you're okay, editing, but this enough. comes with some. I think there's some new uh, graphical stuff with like more. I mean, this theme looks different than what I last used. It's been a while. They yeah, go to like appearance or whatever it's called. Okay, so Zorn, Zorn appearance. appearance. So it looks like, yeah, they do have that touch mode in there. Let's just have a look at what that is. I'm not saying that's particularly new to this version, but let's just have a look at it. Which one is that? XB, that's the last one like, there. Let's see. Okay, so everything's just smaller, I guess. And that's more touch friendly. Okay. If you so, open up the dash. Oh, they separate it completely now. And that should give you more like a grid view. There we yeah, go. Yeah, it gives you a basic gnome Your all launcher. apps view. Yeah. Yeah, that animation is very gnome. It is. Yeah, that is gnome. Or, excuse me, and then we, you guys, you guys poisoned me. I've been saying Gnome fine for like 10 years and you say Gnome and now I said it wrong. You, and we also have me. an activity switcher as well. So and we have a separate button desktops. for that. So wait, you yes. said you were calling it... It's, pro it's pronounced Gnome. You're saying it Gnome? Yes. So that's how you pronounce uh, Garden Gnomes. No, that's, that's different. Tr no, hey, trust me, I, I think it's weird, but Linux people are very pedantic on how you pronounce shit. For some reason, but they are. <laughs> they are, just wa look at the comments section of all my other Linux episodes. It's not mate, it's mate. And then I say it's mate, and then other people say, it's mate, and I'm like, can you just shut the f up? <laughs> <laughs> it's mate, like the plant. Do you know what I'm talking about? Good, that's what's important in communication. Yeah, pretty much. Boink, boink. Boink. Theme. Ooh, accent colors. Yep, so it looks like we have accent colors. This is kind of feeling like uh, Mac OS a bit, especially with the, that looks like a, um, they have a new dark mode and it looks like that's an automatic dark mode in the middle. Does it like yes, change based I'm on the time of day? I'm gonna guess so. So it thinks it's 1857. Location services. Location yeah. services. Yeah. Uh, It'll change based, based on, on sunrise, sunrise and, sunset. and sunset. We'll switch to dark mode because we did not have that earlier. No. At least in my last installation sensation. Of it Zorro. almost works in some hey, places. Yeah, yeah. Oh, some... you can see it get. Yep. It looks nice, like there's a little nice, nice. snapping there. Yeah, so we can snap it to, can we snap it to a corner? No, but it'll let us snap to a side. Uh -huh. No, snap a snist. So yeah, dark mode, I guess Dark mode on, works great. Well, depending on the app, I guess you're in. But, Even uh, glows. Ooh. I, I love all like the glowing and stuff. Yeah, they have a bit of that in there, a healthy dose. I like, I Ooh, like that little bit Ooh, it changes the background color slightly too mm -hmm. in dark mode, so it's not just pure black. You get right. that accent for real. I oh, yeah. really like that. Because that's one of the things I don't like about dark mode is when everything's just black. Well, that's why Apple doesn't do it that way. They do have a hint of an accent color in their dark. Unless you use graphite, then it's just, you know. The same gray. case here, yeah. So that's nice. Um, well, you know what? I won't hurt the viewer's eyes any longer. Oh, I say since keep, that's a... keep on that dark mode. That's slick. Yeah. Take a look at the wall desktop wallpapers. I've been asked that uh, like I should submit Applications, my photos. Applications, icons... Zora ninety five. Uh, okay, that's that's an interesting name for your shell theme. But oh, what did that just do? It made the dock white. <laughs> What'd you do? I, 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 I don't know. I guess that's not the shell theme you're supposed to use. Then these are not the themes you're looking for. Fonts, good, and adjustments for the panel. So yeah, you could make that really thick if you want. Put it on the top. Yes, it's a little bit. <laughs> 
That might be way too bad. I like I like a nice thin panel, please. It's stuck thinking oh, about no, it. Oh no, you broke it. I did, it's stuck now. Oh, well, there we go. And show activities button. Okay, so if you do want to get there, you can do that. And show desktop button. I was just going through the change log. I know there's like Thunderbolt 3 support now, and I think Firefox is the default browser. It was probably Chrome mm. or something before. Uh, but there should be new wallpapers too. We can just bounce around in there. I'm just gonna get this back at the bottom because I'm used to that. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, wait, where, oh, panel. Okay, background. Let's, oh, we got Whoa. the like, hey. Coliseum there. Hey, that's like a super hexagon level there. Did it not change? Or do you have to hit select? That's what it probably is in the upper right there. A nice fade. Oh, shit. If we had interweb access, we could get our computer clan wallpapers on here, but I guess we could always do it with a flash drive. If we're really, oh, what'd this be? Zorin, never Interesting, heard of it. <laughs> it is an interesting pattern. Yeah, do the waves, do the waves. Woo. Yeah, that's hot. Let's go some ways. What's and in... apparently this one changes throughout the day, so they say. So they say. I don't know how, but I imagine it'll change I, whenever. I guess it's like the Mac OS dynamic wallpaper thing, maybe. Dark mode's looking good, but try relaunching some stuff that was not. I'm gonna try reopening our, our lovely document in yeah, Libre. Okay, hey, there we go. That way better. So some things will require Ooh. a relaunch. When you change the theme. Yeah. That looks pretty. That does. That looks beautiful. This is your document writer now. Congratulations. Not really. I mean, some of those button highlight things kind of intersect with each other, and I don't like that. Mm. If you, like, go to the view button, the view tab. See how, like, those fills on those buttons, like rulers and sidebar, like, touching each oh. other's tangents there? That yeah. I'm not a huge fan of. That's kind of bad design. But uh, Well, the rest I of it think that's right. probably just LibreOffice and Zorin's theme clashing a little bit. It could be. It needs a little tweaking, but it's prettier than a lot of stuff I see. So Yeah. So a big thing here, Zorn Connect. That is a big new feature in Zorn OS 15. It's based on GS Connect. It's based on KDE Connect. And if you think about it, if we have Mac users out there, which are probably about like 35-ish percent of you, <laughs> uh, you've probably used like those continuity and handoff features where like if you get a text on your phone, it now shows up on your computer magically. You know, that's basically what this does. Um, you know, you could browse photos from your phone, you can get messages and notifications from your phone, and it just syncs to your computer. The only problem is, we're kind of stuck. We don't have an internet connection we still. Have, we have no way to get the internet connection on this thing. Um, but this but, is what it looks like whenever you're ready to start. Yeah, we even got that little notification up there. It's like, hey, cheese is ready. <laughs> cheese. Cheese um, is ready. We're gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and say that all the features that you saw in the front of the box work great. <laughs> this year we're putting a 15 on the box. <laughs> oh yeah, so this is what it'll look like when it runs on your phone. Also, I don't think most people would notice this, but it looks like the system font is different. I believe it's called Inter, so it's a little bit different. If we compared it like side by side. Inter. So it is, it is actually a good font. Looks pretty. It matches itself very well. Post out, open up Evolution. What is that? It's the mail client. You can just type in Evolution. Oh. Boom. I think... That was a very quick search. Microsoft Exchange is now built in. Good. So let's see here if there's like a way to... Welcome. Restore from backup file. Oh, I guess if we had an Exchange address, we'd put it in there, but we don't. Yeah. I mean, I've never used Exchange. <laughs> You know, some of these things might be new, new, new. Some of these things might be kind of new, but mm -hmm. according to the other improvements section on their website, it says evolution is included with Exchange supports. So. Oh, and that's cool. It, can iTunes do even more? Oh, I gosh. think it can. Oh, my God. Contacts, calendar. Oh, yeah. Tasks. Evo evolution is kind of a multi-purpose yeah. application. In the, the built-in mail app in Windows 10, you do get these buttons at the bottom right, but they will switch to their different apps. So it'll launch the contacts app or the mail app sure. or whichever one you click. It won't just show it all in one app right here. So here's one thing I want to test because I heard this was a new feature. Go back to files and go to where your document is and just like duplicate that several times because we don't have any test stuff on here right now. Yeah. Um, we could put stuff on a flash drive. Well, oh, that's command. There we go. 
Yeah, that was the super key. Just like duplicated a few times. Another right. copy, yep. third Hi copy, all, fourth copy, fifth highlight all. copy. Highlight them all. Oh, oh I did. <laughs> can't press the super key. Right click. I want to see if you can bulk rename. Hit rename. Hey! Whoa. Look at that. That I'm 95% sure is new. You could not do bulk rename Find before. Find and replace text. So replace like copy with cat. I don't know. Ooh, copy cat. Oh, I don't know why I thought of that. That just happened. <laughs> and then you'd say rename and bon appetit. Boom, it's just there done. There you go. That was like speedy. Okay. But now, give me your flash drive because there's one thing we must always do during an installation sensation. Oh. Mm -hmm. Stall for me. So let's work on our lovely document. We need a new page. So I'm going to insert a page break. And thank you for stalling. Plug this in. Okay. <laughs> sure, absolutely. <gasps> Little sound effect. <laughs> Bink. <laughs> okay, so we need Ooh. to put our own wallpaper on here. All right, yep. let's slide them into, where should we put these uh, pictures? The pictures folder sounds appropriate. Nice. I think you can just right click and try them. Now, Squirrel's yeah, not really which... made for this aspect ratio, but do it anyway, because it's cute. Which one is it? Set as wallpaper. Yep, and just, uh... look at that squirrel. That is. Good. I shot all these, by the way, for those who are wondering. If you want to get some of them, they're on our website. Neat. Brent actually has some on there as well. I do. Um, let's do Ghost of Cloud I, I was looking yeah. at this one myself. There we go. Nice. Look at that. Look at all those dead people. I was going to say, this is, the ghosting is really freaking me out here. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is ghosts. Let's go to, um... Blade? I don't think I have seen this that's, one That's one yet. I have not published anywhere. I have not published that one anywhere. It's um. It's it, good. You should. Yeah. I, that's actually, yeah, that's pretty good. That one turned out better than I remember. You do the fire one. I have not. I don't think I've seen this one. It doesn't either. even have a file name. It's just, yeah, that one wasn't really made for a wallpaper. It was. It's just, noisy. Yeah, it was just an experiment. That one is definitely not wallpaper ready. But Blades is, I would say, one of the more famous ones of ours. It is, for sure. You do that. That looks like. Default wallpaper glory right there. So. <laughs> what else is sound and video? Jeez, dude! It's the name hey! of the computer, you asshole! You stole it! <laughs> no, okay, so that's probably like photo booth, but we don't have a camera, so that's not going to do anything. Yeah, there's, there's some nice new changes here. So, and again, this is Zorin OS 15 core. Ultimate has a lot more stuff bundled with it. I just uh, didn't get back to the Zorn group in time to get that, but uh, if I do get a hold of that, I can maybe demo that off later, or maybe do that when version 16 lands. Alrighty then, well thank you Brainiac Brent for the Mac Pro, thank you Maniac Mike for the help. Yep. And guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you have not seen the previous episode where we got the Mac Pro up and running, do check that out. And if you need something to binge watch, there's over a hundred other episodes, so do check those out too. Catch the crazy and pass it on. <laughs>